Hello everyone, I hope you are well. In today's video, we will see how can we create organizational charts using ChatGPT. But before starting, did you watch my previous video in which I talked about how can you create flowchart diagrams with the help of ChatGPT. If you are new here, I am Asan and I post tutorials on this channel. If you might be interested in watching those videos, consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any questions, comment now on this video. Let's start today's video without any further delay. Today we are going to use two tools. The first one is marmate.js. And the second one is ChatGPT, which you already know. If you have watched my previous video, you may have seen Marmate.js and its features with the help of ChatGPT. But if you didn't watch my previous videos, so today you are going to experience it. How can you use Marmate.js for creating organizational charts with the help of ChatGPT? So our basic and main prompt will be like this. You have to type organization name. For example, we are going to name it Java Revisited and then you have to type the president name. For example, it's a post and there will be sub post here. So the first post will be president and we are going to name it Mr. John. So the Mr. John is the president, for example, and then you have to type like this president and you have to tell ChatGPT that it should be in the first row. After that, we are going for vice president. So you have to type vice president and then you have to type under Mr. John and you have to also name the vice president. So I'm going to type Mr. Scott and this will be like this. After that, there should be a secretary. So we are going to name is Mr. 10 and you can name it anything else. So right here, we are going to type secretary and you have to tell ChatGPT that it should be under Mr. Scott. And then you have to type right here and then three places for finance. This is for, for just example, so that you can have an idea. How can you create your organizational chart? So after finance, you have to type IT and then HR department. There may be a HR department. And then after that, you have to type these all should be under Mr. Scott, which, uh, which is the vice president. So we have given the positions and names. Uh, and then here is our main line. You have to type generate me an organization chart using details above with marmaid js syntax i'm going to press enter and let's see what it gives us so guys here is the result uh, so we have to copy this code and you have to go to marmaid live you can just type it here and you will see the first website marmaid live editor you have to open it and then paste that code you will see this diagram like this so this is just a basic organizational chart and definitely you can give your scenario to ChatGPT and it will generate according to your needs. Now we are going for some styling right here. So ChatGPT does not know the latest version of Marmaid.js that it contains some stylings too. So if we are going to ask ChatGPT that style the boxes or some lines, so this is not going to work in ChatGPT. We have to do it manually. So in order to make it attractive and beautiful, we can some add styles right here. So in the code right here, you can type like this. For example, if you want the, this box to be colored, so you can type right here style and then the first position is A, you can see that. So you have to type A and you can type fill and the color of your choice, for example, light coral and then this line. So you can see that it has been changed. So this is for the boxing colors and if you want to fill the color of the box, then you can just use this one. We can try asking ChatGPT for this coloring and styling. So let's try it. It's already recognizing it or not. So I'm going to type make the border of Mr. John more thick using style syntax in bottom. Let's see what it gives us. So guys, here's the result. ChatGPT is giving us the results for the styling. Let's see if it's working in Mamed or not. So you can just remove this one. And right from here, it says the comments are not allowed so obviously you have to make it you have to remove it so you can see that the strokes ha has been added you can see that if i just remove it you will see this see these lines right here so i'm going to add it again and you can obviously change the color right from here so if i make it four you can see that the color is changing i'm going to make it default which is which was 333 three, three. now let's just ask ChatGPT to make the border black and without dashes so you have to type make the border black and without dashes. Let's see what it gives us. So guys, here's the result. It has given us the updated code. 
don't forget to remove these comments so that mermaid can recognize the code i'm going to paste it again right here and remove it you can see that the updated code gives us this line you can see the black border which has been updated in the latest code now let's just fill those other boxes too so right here i'm going to type style b i'm going to fill b with maybe orange or you can type another color too and the stroke with black let's see you can see that the box color has been changed to orange and i'm going to do the same with c d and e2 so you have to type style again you have to type style then c you have to fill it with your color and then i'm going to type orange or you can type light blue too so i'm going to type light blue and stroke should be black so here you can type black it will make the stroke black and then you can see that so if you can see that the fonts are not visible maybe we can try the theme here light we can make it light you can see that it was the problem of the theme so we couldn't see the fonts right here let's move forward for the style of the d e and f so i'm going to just copy the same for them and this should be d and e and then f so here it is you can see that it is now very much attracting and beautiful and there is more one thing you can also add the icons right here in mermaid js for this you can just type right here suggest an icon for each boxes in my diagram let's see what it gives us so here it is i think it is not going to work because uh, this is just the icons right here and the code that was previously generated by chat gpt has been removed in the updated code so for this we are going to copy the code to like from right from here and we are going to ask the same suggest me an icon for each boxes in my diagram and the code is given below so you have to paste the code and press enter let's see what it gives us now so guys here is the result you can see that it again removed the fonts and tags so i'm going to ask ChatGPT to not to remove the text from the boxes so you have to type don't remove the text from the boxes press enter and let's see what it gives us so guys now here's the result we can copy this and see if it is working or not so you can see that it is not recognizing these things right here so for this you have to give ChatGPT an example of this so for this i saw the mermaid js documentation and i found out that it was like something like this i'm going to put an example right here so for this i'm going to copy the previous code like this one and in here i'm going to add an example right here i am going to type the box name which is b and then you have to type this one i'm going to type this fab and then f a for example this one twitter for peace this is the uh, font name icon name and then close the brackets again let's see if this works or not so you can see that so you can see that it is right here the uh, icon has been added right here but we have problem with the tags it has been removed from there so for this i can try adding it before if this works or not so it is not working so for this we have to go for another strategy you can just copy this thing you can see that you have to just copy this and then you can just paste it right here before it so if i just add right here you can see that it has been added right here you don't have to add those tags so you can just remove it right from here so it can be a perfect box so for example the it manager is right here we can add like it right here uh, the inverted commas and then fa fa dash laptop and then code and the inverted commas will be closed right here you can see that it has the icon has been added for the it manager so for the finance manager we can also add an icon so for this we have to type fa colon fa hyphen money and check hyphen alt let's see you can see that the finance manager icon has been added right here so for the hr manager we can also add another icon so for this you have to type inverted commas fa f a dash users and then close inverted commas and here it is so for the secretary we can use another icon so here it is f a colon f a user hyphen tie and then here it is and for the president we can add another icon which can which can be a f a f a user hyphen and here it is so it obviously depends on you and you can see the mermaid js documentation for these icons so you can have an idea how to add those so you can see that this is now our final diagram so it is very much attracting and beautiful and looking like a professional diagram 
so you can just give your scenario to ChatGPT and ask it to add some stylings by just giving those examples to ChatGPT. We can see the examples right here. I'm going to give you the code in the description of this video so you do that so that you can use this as an example for ChatGPT. So this was all about today's video. If you like the video, click the subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell icon so you will be notified when I publish the next video. Thank you guys for watching.